In the papers today, the Times reports that stock markets slid and Spain's borrowing costs spiked through the 7% danger level yesterday after the European Central Bank's new programme disappointed traders. It is aimed at curing a severe malfunctioning in Eurozone debt markets and will go beyond the ECB's existing interventions, but details have yet to be finalised. Meanwhile, the National Institute of Economic and Social Research has slashed its gro growth forecasts for the UK economy to minus 0.5% this year, claiming the Chancellor will need to borrow £18 billion more than expected. This is worse than the Office for Budget Responsibility's expectation for growth of 0.8% in 2012. Experts claim that the Bank of England's money printing policy has triggered a death spiral in pensions, which has led to the worst re retirement payouts in history, as annuity rates hit an all-time low and are expected to keep falling. A 65-year-old who retired today with a pot of £100,000 would get just a third of the pension that he would have got 20 years ago. Taylor Wimpey has won the right to build almost a thousand new homes on the Olympic Park after London 2012 and will partner with social housing provider L&Q. Three quarters of the homes will be family housing and mark a return to London's traditional family neighbourhood of terraced houses. In recruitment news, law firm Herbert Smith has opened its first office in America by recruiting a team of New York, new York litigators known for defending big tobacco companies against class actions. This is the latest in a series of moves by the city law firm.